I'm Ma'am Shomi back again with another very interesting video. In today's session, I'm going to discuss 20 very, very important descriptive questions from the short story B. Wordsworth written by V. S. Naipaul. I have already uploaded some of these answers, so do check the description box for the playlist ISC Semester 2 or B. Wordsworth. Coming back to today's topic of discussion, let's read question number 1. What are some of the things B. Wordsworth and the narrator do together? But before proceeding, I would like to tell you one another important thing. This is not a last minute suggestion. Ethically, I do not believe in suggestions and practically also I am not in that position to give you suggestion. So, I have tried to highlight the key areas which you need to focus on. What are some of the things B. Wordsworth and the narrator do together? We all read that the narrator's friendship with B. Wordsworth changed the former's life completely. The world became a most exciting place. Begin your answer with this quotation. The world became a most exciting place and then tell some of the things that both of them do together. And I'll give you a few examples. B. Wordsworth and he became friends and uh, the narrator often went to B. Wordsworth's house and sat talking to him. They went for long walks together. They went to the botanical gardens, the rock gardens, climbed Chancellor Hill in the late afternoon, watched Port of Spain get engulfed in darkness while the city and the ships in the harbour got lit up. So, you will elaborate on these points. Read the text and I am sure you will be able to write this answer very easily. Remember, there is no word limit, time management is a factor and the full marks is 4. Coming to question number 2. How does the world change for the narrator after his friendship with B. Wordsworth? Again, the world became a most exciting place for the young narrator. And he sought shelter, comfort, emotional support in B. Wordsworth. B. Wordsworth's accommodating nature served as a foil to his mother's strict and harsh nature. How did his world change? B. Wordsworth helped his friend, the young boy narrator, to grow. And how did he do so? And how did his perspective change? Highlight this in this answer. Question 3. What does B. Wordsworth tell the narrator on his deathbed? How does the narrator respond to B. Wordsworth's revelation? The last meeting, the emotional moments between B. Wordsworth and the narrator must be discussed here and there are two subparts. If there are subparts, change the paragraph and write your answer. Question 4. Describe the first meeting of the boy and B. Wordsworth. This is very easy. Turn to page number 116 and you will get the answer. The first meeting of the boy and B. Wordsworth. I asked, what do you want? He said, I want to watch your bees. And how the boy's mother reacted to B. Wordsworth and how was the boy's reaction to B. Wordsworth different from that of the mother? Question 5. What is the great secret shared by B. Wordsworth with the boy? Where is it? The great secret? I will tell you a great secret. I said, it really secret? At the moment, yes. I looked at him and he looked at me. He said, this is just between you and me. Remember, I am writing a poem. Oh, I was disappointed. It's on page number 121. I have a great secret which I am going to tell you now. You will have to write that section 
for this question. What great secret is shared by B. Wordsworth with the boy? Question 6 now. Describe the last visit of the boy to B. Wordsworth's place. Again, this question is somewhat similar to the question number 3. But here you will have to focus on the last visit. There are no subparts, so discuss the last visit in detail. Justify the title of B. Wordsworth. Prepare the titles of all the texts that you have, the significance of the title. The title catches the attention of the reader. Who is the protagonist? The protagonist is B. Wordsworth himself, so he is the titular protagonist. The story is named after B. Wordsworth. What is so special about him? And this makes the readers curious. The reader would wonder what a Caribbean novelist like V. S. Naipaul has written about an English poet and a failed poet. Who is the English poet? It's William Wordsworth. And who is the failed poet? He is Black Wordsworth. Those who are familiar with the romantic poet William Wordsworth will have their curiosity aroused as to what the B before Wordsworth stands for. The name reveals something of the character and therefore the title is appropriate and it is significant. Question 8. What is the role of escapism in the, uh, in the lives of the boy and B. Wordsworth? Discuss the role of escapism in the life of the boy. Discuss the role of escapism in the life of B. Wordsworth. Wordsworth teaches the boy to observe nature, to escape into a world of imagination where he will be able to forget all his worries, he will be able to forget all the harsh realities of life. The idyllic place which B. Wordsworth introduced to the boy must be discussed in detail. I had never felt so big and great in all my life. I forgot all my anger and all my tears and all the blows. Page number 120, the world of imagination. And when he was on his deathbed, B. Wordsworth shattered this world of imagination. Next, question 9. Discuss the symbolism in the short story B. Wordsworth. I have already uploaded this answer. Kindly check the description box. We have discussed this in detail. Time for me to move on to question 10. Comment on the role played by the narrator's mother in B. Wordsworth. Analyze her relationship with the boy narrator. This answer has also been uploaded so check the description box, the playlist B. Wordsworth or ISA Semester 2. You will get an analysis of the role of the narrator's mother over there. And one of her subscribers had asked me a question as to tell something about the reason why the narrator's mother was so harsh and abusive. Well, my interpretation is that the conditions prevalent in her life had made her harsh and insensitive. We do not find the mention of any male member. She had to provide for the family. She had to work for B. Wordsworth. Therefore, perhaps she was harsh. Temperamentally also, she might be harsh and another important thing is her poverty stricken condition. Life for a poor woman in post-colonial Trinidad was really difficult. Therefore, she was perhaps harsh. She had become so harsh. And since the boy was young, the mother had to be strict but that does not justify the way she hit the boy, the way she was harsh to the boy. 
analyze this and take help from the reference material the relationship with the boy narrator and the role played by the narrator's mother question 11 give a brief character sketch of number a b wordsworth already uploaded check the description box number b the boy narrator again uploaded check the description box question 12 What are the important lessons that the young narrator learned from his friend B Wordsworth how are the lessons relevant This question was asked by one of our subscribers and I have already uploaded this video on request again check the description box 13 explain the significance of the story of the boy poet and the girl poet mentioned by B Wordsworth We have done another video on request and we have discussed this answer in detail again check the description box now it is not possible for me to discuss all the 20 questions in detail therefore i have tried to incorporate these 20 questions for you remember this is not a suggestion Question 14 How does V Naipaul explore the theme of identity in B Wordsworth Highlight on the theme of identity crisis in the short story B Wordsworth Now how will you do it The identity crisis of the colonized has been the focus in most of the novels of Naipaul and B in B Wordsworth as well with an alien culture of the colonist forced upon them the identity of the caribbean people is displaced faced with a deep identity crisis they are desperately searching for an independent identity b wordsworth considers himself to be a great poet like his white brother and believes that he is going to write the greatest poem in the world and naipaul analyzes how an individual tries to assert his identity by overcoming the conditions in which he is placed and how far he succeeds or fails in his attempts we know that b wordsworth is a failed poet and he is not at all successful like white wordsworth He is desperately trying to fashion his identity based on that of the great poet William Wordsworth. He got up and said I am a poet. I said a good poet. He said the greatest in the world. So you will have to highlight this and you will also have to mention that like the colonizers B Wordsworth a colonized member of the post colonial Trinidad society is dressed and is dressed tidily and he speaks flawless english and this raises the suspicion of the narrator's mother quest for identity occupies an important place in naipaul's fiction so write an answer prepare an answer for this question 15 what is the role played by nature in vs naipaul's b wordsworth love for nature b wordsworth's love for nature and how he teaches the boy uh, narrator to love nature how to observe nature and how to escape into a world of imagination and fantasy question 16 what is the funny story told by b wordsworth to his friend the young boy narrator what is the significance of a funny story page 124 That story I told you about the boy poet and the girl poet do you remember that that wasn't true it was something i just made up all this talk about poetry and the greatest poem in the world that wasn't true either isn't that the funniest thing you have heard this is the funny story and what is the significance of this story If you watch all our videos you will get an idea as to what to write in this answer what is the significance of this funny story what is b wordsworth trying to do by claiming that by confessing that everything that he has said was untrue 
Question 17. It was just as though B. Wordsworth had never existed. Comment. The ending. Comment on the ending of the short story B. Wordsworth. The shattering of dreams and life of the boy after the death of his dear friend B. Wordsworth. 18. B. Wordsworth claimed that he shared one heart with White Wordsworth. Critically analyze this. I will soon upload this video on request. You will check the description box for the answer. This is yet to be uploaded but work is in progress. So keep checking, tap the bell icon and keep checking the notification. The next question. Describe the one-roomed hut of B. Wordsworth. What is its symbolic significance? What is the symbolic significance of the hut? Try to watch the video on symbolism. You will get an idea once again as to how to write this answer. Describe the hut. Describe the surrounding. And what role does this hut play in the life of the boy narrator? These key points must be there in your answer. Question 20, the last one. It is the poet's tragedy. Analyze B. Wordsworth as a poet. Role of the artist in the poet, alienation of the artist, alienation of B. Wordsworth as an artist in the society in which he lives in. Is he a failed poet? Is he a poet after all? We have not seen him writing any poem. We have just heard that he is writing one, perhaps the greatest poem in the world and on his deathbed while he was on his deathbed he confesses that the poem was not going well 